My name is Jared Hempstead. I'm the head distiller here at Balcones Distilling. My name is Tommy Moat, and I oversee the distillery. My title is distillery manager. And today we're going to talk about American single malt whiskey, specifically Texas single malt. Uh, Texas Single Malt is absolutely the original inspiration and uh, drive behind why we started distilling in the first place. American Single Malt Whiskey is a little bit tricky to define right now because there's not a hard and fast legal definition for what that means. There is American Malt Whiskey, which is a category that requires new oak and requires at least 51% malted barley. American Single Malt Whiskey Commission is where all distilleries producing American Single Malt under our agreed upon definition, which has 100% barley. We didn't specify pot or column stills, we left that open and it's a lot more transparent and authentic when people are making their whiskey top to bottom from scratch. We use a different kind of mill called a roller mill. We use a different mashing system. Instead of using a one-size-fits-all whiskey making process, we actually have specialized equipment that is more in line with Scottish tradition. We could talk about this all day. We could talk about this all day. Do you want to say it? No. Hmm. Do you like talking about whiskey? I do like talking about whiskey. Yeah, I... Uh, could do it all day. So this is our Texas Single Malt, which is the flagship product of Balcones. Uh, it was introduced in 2011 and actually won the Best in Glass competition in Scotland in 2012. It was kind of a big deal. It's an invitational competition, and it was the first time they had a, an American whiskey in the mix. And, you know, when the bags finally came off and everyone found out what was in their glass, it turns out it was a 14-month-old American whiskey that won up against a whole bunch of uh, Scottish and Irish single malts. So there's a pretty strong fruity component to our malt whiskey. We think that largely has to do with the way that we approach fermentation. We actually do a fairly long fermentation that doesn't only create alcohol, but actually a lot of lactic acid, which is present in kombucha and sauerkraut and stuff like that. One of the biggest differences in the flavor profile of our malt is going to be our barrel profile. We use a really high percentage of first fill oak, so that's virgin oak. So the, the wood profile ends up being a lot more familiar to anyone who's had a lot of American whiskey, beer, bourbon, rye, etc. It's important to note that what we're doing with American single malt is not a recreation or redesigning of what single malt is. We actually are trying to just create something that's consistent with the international understanding of a Scottish single malt or an Irish single malt, but taking that and making it an American single malt because it is made here in America. For anybody who like, just enjoys whiskey, it's a pretty exciting time. You could go a whole lifetime without seeing a, a new category of whiskey, much less get to be a part of it. Um, that's just not something that happens very often. It's a pretty unique and pretty cool experience that we get to be a part of that. Mm -hmm.